Hello, my friends. This morning I was looking at social media and I saw something that really made an impression. Now I realize everything you see on social media or everything you listen to on social media is not true. You have to weigh it out and do a little research, but this seemed to be true. And that is in the village or what was the village of Chimney Rock in Western North Carolina, it's been flooded out now and I've understand it's totally devastated and and gone but the rock itself is still there and i read where the park service made with their way to the top of the uh, top of the rock and planted an american flag and i i thought about that i thought about 9 11 where in the midst of the rubble the flag was planted i found i thought about in world war ii when the marines hit the uh, island of iwo jima and they fought their way to the top of mount suribachi and they placed and planted the american flag up and when everybody saw it it gave them uh encouragement and hope that many people had died to get there in the picture I saw on social media, we could see that the road at the bottom, uh, there were trees across the road, but at the top was the American flag. It gives encouragement that, that we're not defeated. Well, I thought about in a spiritual realm, I thought about Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. The latter part of this verse says, uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. My friends, the scripture says the enemy who's a thief, he's come to steal, kill, and to destroy. He's going to come into us in our lives, try to, try to tear us down, try to bring destruction, try to bring a flood, just like we've seen in the natural in the western part of our state. But I want to say that God will lift up a standard. That standard, that word of God, He, the Holy Spirit will help us and give us strength in, in our battles, when the enemy comes against us, just like a, uh, on Mount Suribachi, the Holy Spirit will help us. Now, I've heard some scholars say that in the original, that the comma, in, in, in this version of the Bible, the comma is after the flood. But I've heard some scholars say, when the enemy comes in, comma, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Now, either way, I think both of them are very are very uh, important for us to understand that if it's like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard and help us. I'm telling you today, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, that the Holy Spirit is there to help you in your times of, of destruction, your times of difficulties, whether it be financial sickness, it could even be a death in the family, but God will help you. Uh, and it seems like that all the world is falling apart. He will raise up a standard. I don't want you to think of that flag on top of the mountain. He will help you. We're not defeated. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.